For this video, I'd like to talk about the difference between equations, expressions, and inequalities. So let's start with an expression. And the simplest way to remember an expression from the other two is that expressions do not have a sign. So there's no equal sign, there's no greater than or less than sign. And you'll see something, let's look at a couple different examples, maybe like 2 plus 3x. So this is an expression because it's not equal to something, it's not greater than something else or less than. It's just different terms added together. Another example would be something like x squared minus 5x plus 6. Again, we don't have any kind of equation here, no equal sign. We're not going to be solving for x. This is just what we call an expression. And lastly, maybe something like 4a plus 3b minus 7z. Again, we have no sign here, so this would again be an expression. Now, an equation is essentially two, let me use the, the same color, but it's essentially two expressions separated by an equal sign. So for an equation, let's look at some different examples. You might have something like 10 plus 7 is the same thing as 20 minus 3. You can see on both sides of the equation that it would evaluate to 17. So this is what we would call a true equation because both sides are the same value. You might also see something like 2x plus 6 is equal to 5. And in this case, you can actually find a specific x value that makes this equation true. But notice you just have an expression here. And then on the other side of the equation, you have another expression. Even just having one value, I can put that in as an example of an expression. So maybe something like 7 would be an expression just because there's no sign there. And maybe for an equation, we can have another one where we have 3x squared plus 2 equals 9x minus 4. And again, this is an equation where there is one specific x value that makes it true. Uh, but you could also see something where you have two variables, maybe like y is equal to 2x plus 3. This is an equation where there's actually an infinite number of solutions, pairs of x and y that make this true. And we'd be able to graph this. And for this particular equation, it's just the graph of a line. And with equations, they don't have to stop at two variables. You can really have as many variables as you want. But for now, I'll just leave these as the examples. And then go into the last one, the inequality. This is essentially two expressions separated by an inequality sign. Though notice with inequalities that there are several different signs you can use. You have greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. But essentially the examples will look very similar to the equation examples where let's say maybe you have three plus five is greater than two. This is a true inequality since you would have eight on one side, which is always bigger than two. Maybe you have something like x minus 4 is greater than 7. And you can solve this for x to find that essentially x is always bigger than 11. Maybe you have something like 2x plus 6 less than or equal to y minus 4. Now you have an inequality with two variables. But there's no real restriction to say that there can only be one or two. In fact, just like with equations, we can have as many variables as we want. We just know that it's an inequality because you have an expression on both sides and it's separated by some kind of inequality sign. So with the definitions out of the way, let's start looking at some different example problems. And you'll see once you get the hang of these that they're fairly straightforward. So this one, we need to know which of the following phrases are expressions. And remember, expressions do not have a sign. So something like minus 3, that's an expression. But this one right here, it has an inequality sign. So this is an inequality. This one right here has an equation or an equal sign. So this is an equation. So these are not true. This is an expression because there's no sign. And this one right here, also an expression because there's no sign. So moving to the next one, this one we got to match them up. 
And for the inequality, we're looking for the inequality sign. So this one would go up here. For an expression, we're looking for one without a sign. And it looks like the equation one is in the right place because it has an equal sign. So that one's good. But the inequality in the expression, it looks like they have to switch here. So the top one's an expression, we would move that down. And the middle one is an inequality, we would move that up. Now move in to this one. We need to know now which ones are equations. And with equations, they just have an equal sign. So this one has an equal sign. This is an inequality. This one has an equal sign. This one right here doesn't have any sign, so this is an expression. And again, down here, we have a less than, so that's an inequality. So it's just choices A and C that are equations. And continuing, now we need to know for this last one, which of the following phrases are inequalities? Well, we can see the top one, that's an equation. It has an equal sign. And basically, we're looking for greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. This is a less than sign, so that one works. This one doesn't have any sign, so this we can conclude is an expression. This right here is a greater than, so that's an inequality. And this also has a greater than, so that one is an inequality as well. So for this one, choices B, D, and E are the correct choices.